Okay. Hey guys, so this summer I went on a little shopping spree. Um, I spent two hundred dollars on makeup. <laughs> Not the wisest decision. It is now December, and I realized I barely touched these like products. And I'm like, dude, I've been feeling myself, and I'm like trying to bring myself back to the place where, I guess not where I used to be, but a healthier place. So. <laughs> I'm gonna try this out first off i am not a makeup artist at all like, i am i am not the best i like barely know what i'm doing i used to do my makeup when i was in high school ninth grade like full face and i barely knew what i was doing i did that maybe for like a year <laughs> we're gonna practice until we finally get it okay so first i'm gonna start off doing my tw my my tweezers yeah my eyebrows this is what i have i bought this and then i have this i got a few things that i can use whoops and then here's another bag just filled with all the goodies like the bronzer the setting spray eyeshadow all that and then i have my my solar water and those q-tips so i'm gonna need all those and then if you're wondering what i'm looking at uh it is this mirror i didn't even know that this still charged i haven't plugged in <laughs> i'm using it now usually i just do my eyebrows when it comes to makeup not even just makeup i think it's just like i would honestly do more full face makeup if i had better time management but um i just i think it's better if i just start off when i have spare time usually what makeup is to me my first priority is probably just curling my lashes and putting on mascara that will be my finished makeup look on the regular and if i have time my eyebrows when i first started doing makeup in high school i did that i stuck with that and then i started doing eye looks i started doing eyeshadow and then from eyeshadow i went on to primer foundation then i started doing like highlight blush bronzer to contour and stuff i never like baked and stuff like that i would love for someone to teach me how i don't know how to do all that dude i spent like two hours in target looking for all this stuff and i thought i had bought a powder i swear i didn't i just didn't put it in the back honestly i like plucking my eyebrows and doing my own eyebrows i've been going to the salon most of the times first because you don't have to spend any money but also because it's really therapeutic to me almost just like sit here and just pluck the eyebrows my toxic trait is thinking that i could do a full face makeup in like 15 minutes Let's see how long this is going to take me. Also, oh my god, it's so bad that I hyperfixate on one particular hair that is so short. You can barely grab it with the tweezer. Oh god, I can't pull out. That's what she said. <laughs> That's the most annoying thing. Like, dude, just leave it alone. Let it grow. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Look it out. I don't even know where the hair went now. I guess almost done. I don't remember if I got that hair that was bothering me, but oh well. I like to not elongate the time longer than it needs to be to do my my eyebrows because last time I touched them for too long, they got way too thin. So we're not doing that. Also, I went to go get some water. It might pass out. I need to calm down. Like, I don't even know what time it is. I'm going to still get up tomorrow and clean my room. So, I'm going to wind down, drink some. <laughs> you say that I went up fishing for too long. I'm still going. Okay. Now, I'm going to switch my brows. They're done. Okay. First, I'm going to start off with washing my hands. Okay, my hands are all good and dandy. Put on some primer. Ooh. I don't know what. You know, like the lotion? You know how it'd be having that, like, it just, like, just dries up and cuts up? Yeah. That's what that was. I don't even know that. I'm gonna wash my face after this, but I'm gonna wash it after. My skincare used to be so on point. I used to put on, like, other products. I used to, like, 
wash my face with a certain um, face wash. And then I used to put toner, like witch hazel. I'd put a serum, like a retinol serum, or vitamin C, and then lotion. Also, my skin was okay. It was still breaking out a little in there. Maybe it's just like the product I was using probably wasn't compatible with my skin. But I try and search at the store for the the products that are for my skin type. Then the fall came and I was just using like the CeraVe face wash because that's the one that I was using at that time. And I didn't use nothing else because honestly I just got lazy. And I didn't really break out just using that. I know sunscreen is important but I'm really scared of breaking out again. <laughs> I actually put on sunscreen like maybe like two weeks ago. This is also a factor that like I was like neglecting my skin. Like I put it on like once and then like afterwards I wasn't even like washing my face or none of that. Really struggling. <laughs> so we're gonna see. I think I will start doing my skincare again if I break out. It's probably just because my skin is so used to it again. But then again, like if my skin is doing fine, I don't want to like add any more stuff that I necessarily don't need. Maybe I'll just continue with that. No, because I want to keep my, my skin healthy, man. You guys, this is stressing me out. I just don't want my skin to rely with all these products for it to be healthy, you know what I mean? We'll see how this goes. I thought I shaved off my mustache earlier, but it's still there. <laughs> also, this little booklet came with the brushes. I don't know what to use. Um, they also have, like, the names on the bottom. I, like, cracked one of these. I don't remember which one it is, but I, like, super glued it back together. <laughs> so, and if you see that it's like white and crusty on the bottom Yikes. okay next up is the matte and the poreless fit me foundation ah dude i was like literally in the store just like googling things that i think would go with my with my skin type yeah it was pretty bad that's what like even added more time to shopping time for these products and I was doing laundry too, which was the worst part. <laughs> so, um, my clothes are all wet and soggy. While I was in the store, just find things. Googling and searching my stuff. Instead of just doing my research before I actually went, preparing myself. <laughs> but no, that's me. I have an angled foundation brush, which I think is going to help me get into like a tougher spots this was like the closest one that i could find when i used to do my makeup back then i actually had someone help me pick out the color that i needed for my skin like my matching foundation i wasn't like worried if the foundation matched my skin tone or not i really do think i need to go back i need to go back for stuff that i'm still missing i guess like setting powder concealer because i don't have that guys i like to hike I have to take you guys sometime. Okay, but that's me with the foundation. I really tried to match it as close as I could with my skin color. My station lights it up. <laughs> I had these tattoos when I was so young. I was like 15, dude. Like, I was like that. I don't do what I did. I never stuck with these forever. And I, and I knew that when I was younger, but I honestly don't regret them. I don't. Dude, I should have been someone more professional. <laughs> Alright, let me see. What do I want to do? What I say? Alright, so this is the palette that I have. I have the Cover Girl True Naked Roses. So, let me see. I'm going to decide which color I want to do. So, I've kind of already been using this color and this color. A little bit of that. I might add some shimmy to it. So, we'll see. Maybe if I do, I might do this color. Also, if I start doing more makeup like this, then I will definitely have to buy, like, a brush cleaner. I honestly probably will end up getting a makeup sponge. Alright, let's start with, with that rosy color that I like. The base color. I'm gonna apply it in the inner part of my eye. Okay. I'm gonna do that on both sides. I like my eyelids because... I have plenty of space to do what I want to do on them. Alright, I'm going to do that darker rosy color at the crease. I always feel like I look like I have a bruised eye. I know I just like have to blend it in. Just a process. I'm going to use my other eyeshadow brush and I'm going to add that glitter I told you guys about. Ooh, I like this one too. Okay. 
mixing these two. Mixing hair and hair. I don't know if I should be using this many brushes. Okay, now I'm gonna incorporate it all together. My uncle and my mom are just over there talking, if you guys can hear them. Okay. No bad, actually. I ain't mad at it. Alright. First angle brush. Alright, now we did the eyeshadow. I prefer this eyeliner over the liquid one. To be honest with you guys. I don't have a issue with the, the liquid one. I think I just like need to practice this more. By the way, guys, I like absolutely suck at eyeliner. So if this comes out horrible, plus I already put on the eyeshadow. So, <laughs> oh gosh, I really don't have much room for failure now. So let me finish this side. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, so this is how the first eyeliner looks. I think. It's safe to say this looks alright. Chunky liner too. Take a speed fill. Alright, let me try recreating the same thing on the other side. But honestly, I think I low-key slayed. That's what I'm hoping. This is how it looks so far. Alright, we're gonna move on. Okay, let's do... Let's do this color down here. Okay, and then I know that... I also put bronzer up here. And the the draw one. And now I'm gonna do blush. I have Revolution Blush. That's what I have. It's like one of these blushes. So I'm gonna get up in that bad boy. And then just like circle. Right there. I'm gonna use my fan brush and I'm going to apply also makeup revolution highlighter I want to force it so you can see me shining for miles and miles away here comes my lashes I have the Ardell Professional Natural Lashes. I'm gonna take a pair, put them down, and then lay them down. I'll be back with that. Oh, you know what? I also wanted to do like a shiny moment in the inner eye corner. I'm gonna use that white color. And I'm gonna put it right there. If I see that. There you go. Oh, wow, just... Last time that I did my makeup, it came up looking really cakey, and today it doesn't even look half as bad. I think it's mainly because of the products that I was wearing underneath, like my makeup products, like the skincare stuff. Um, I guess I didn't really think that through when I got it, but this face primer has salicylic acid, so I really don't think I need anything else underneath this. I could try out doing just a toner before I do the makeup. Next time, I don't know if I should fill in my eyebrows more, I just leave them like this. Okay, so I curled this lash, but I didn't curl this one because I accidentally OD'd it on the glue. I got lash glue on actual lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a good amount of mascara. I'll do that to the other side. Okay, I put on the lashes, I curled them. That's what they look like. Put the mascara. Looking good. And I think I will fill in my eyebrows a little more just because this is a light glam, but I do think that we need a little more emphasis on the brows. These babies. They had a moment as well. Both wouldn't be complete without it. So let's do that. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so this is the way that my eyebrows look. I'm gonna line my lips with the brown. So I lined my lips as best as I could. A little brown moment going on. I just didn't want to like do too much with that brown color, so that's why I didn't directly apply that color on there. Just an angle brush. And now I have this liquid lipstick. Let me put that on. So this is how the look looks right now. I don't know if this is gonna dry or not. If it's just gonna stay like this. I mean, I wanted to put lip gloss over this. I'm still gonna go ahead and put on some lip gloss just because. Why not, right? Because I want some extra shine to my lips. Honestly, don't know if it did much of a difference. 
My lips just feel mince right now. Bonnie and her hair part. Set my makeup. Get this hair spray. I feel great. This probably took me like at least like 45 to 50 minutes. But you know what? With practice and the right tools that I need, I will definitely be able to complete looks like this in less than that time frame. So this is for my filter, no nothing. This is with smoothness filter. I am so in love with this look. So, girly and John, so if you guys are watching this too, this is my finished makeup look. I'm absolutely loving it. I think I'm starving. I don't even know what time it is, but this took me way too long. But it was very well worth it. And if I do more makeup videos, I will definitely record for you guys. Love you. Bye.